Did I see that right? A K rule player versus a Bayonetta? I have heard things. I have heard things that um, Bayo actually struggles against some heavies. Just given the fact that she sometimes struggles to kill. And K rule has the ability to recover. Uh, so maybe gimping K rule isn't going to be the best idea. But you know what? Uh, one thing I will say though, Baker definitely has the skill to probably put all my worries to, to ease. And, and I mean, he's showing off right now. Zero per oh my god. Zero to 118. This crocodile has not touched this woman. And maybe for good reasons, you know? <laughs> and to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it, her boots are probably made out of crocodile. And she's probably looking for a new pair of boots. <laughs> so, K. Rool better be watching out right now. Alright, forward throw coming out. Oh, the crown. Baker has been playing perfectly. Immaculate. Zero percent. Not even a percentage. Like, not even a point percentage. Oh, there we go. And I jinxed it. That's on me. Honestly, 115 to 7%. Baker is dissecting everything that is happening at the moment. Okay. Not never to connect. A backer. What have you wait? How, how heavy is K-Roll? No, I don't think he's heavy at all, man. That She literally just smacked this man. From one side of the stage to the other with a back air. That was really pretty coming out from Baker. We are. The strings. Ooh, he dropped it. That is uh, uncanny of Baker. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Alright. The strings. I know at this point I'm just saying okay over and over again, but uh, I'm just watching what's going on. I'm just appreciating all, all the um, options that are coming out from Baker. Oh, wow. Very nice string coming out from Baker. But enemy, like, honestly, at this point, I'm just wondering, is he going to adapt at some point? Because it's honest, it's just, it's been a very slow game. Neck to this much, I, I know Baker is very high octane player. And it just it seems like right now he's like not on all four cylinders. Maybe more. I thought he was going to die. He wasn't dead yet. Ooh, the back air. The, he just let, let a good hook able to take this witch out. All right, enemy, one stock in. Oh, he was able to get the neutral beam. The jabs. This might kill. Yep. Bayonetta has a killing jab, ladies and gentlemen. Something I would have never expected, but it's actually the case. All right. Good string coming out from Baker. Gabriel all on the stage now. He wants to extend this combo as much as he can. And to be honest, I don't think... Oh, is he dead? He's not dead. Oh! Bayonetta makes characters look like they're made out of cotton, man. <laughs> uh, it's like, this is all like a what? 500 pound alligator, right? It's just juggling them. Like they're made out of like, like made out of air. It's just killed them. I will say this much. Very nice play coming out from Baker. I don't think he died a single. Oh, he did. He died once. Um, I don't know what enemy's going to do here. It, I don't, I don't honestly... Maybe he's gonna stick to his guns. He probably should. Warrior. Never mind. Again, commentators curse. Maybe I, I'm cursing things left and right. Switch over to Wario. Which, to be honest, this might seem like a better matchup, and it probably is. You know, given that Wario has the ability to contest Bayonetta's aerials, and so he has very good air mobility himself. Okay, this is definitely different from last game, and I think Baker is starting to realize that. Definitely starting to realize that things are whoa. This man is pressing buttons, and I like how he's pressing buttons. 82% at 5% Baker? I think he has to wake up a little bit and realize, you know what? Maybe I have to start playing for real. Respect him a little more. This last game, definitely the the, the Gabriel was not playing out for enemy. Ooh, did no chill out for, out for enemy. Just canceling any type of momentum coming out from Baker. Alright, here we go. Good new chiller coming out for enemy. Let's see, a bite? Able to look for something. Nothing there. Like on stage. Ooh, the grab, the misplay. Good dash attack coming out for enemy. Bike up in the air. Let's see what Baker does here. This is a very dangerous position for, for, for Bayou to be in. Because at this point, Mario has a lot of kill options. Be it back here, be it forward tilt. Be it a good horse smash. You know, you never know. Mario has potential. Oh my god. And he got killed. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Bayonetta. Um, but to be honest, it's not impossible for enemy. Like I said, one good interaction. Good back here. Good forward tilt. Unless Bayo does things like things and just decides to let Nachu play. <laughs> That's one of the big qualities that Bayo has. Good dash attack. Game take. Questionable DI, actually. I think uh, he probably would have lived. I don't think 
he was ready to DI. Maybe he was. I don't know. Ooh, what a back air. You're probably dead here. No? He's dead? Oh, okay. Good clip on him. But that was a very... He was able to, midway through the combo, get a back air. Able to knock him out farther to really get him off stage to the point where he's not comfortable. Here we go again. Oh, kicked him back on stage. I don't think he wanted to do that. He probably wanted to go for something else. Okay, looking for a back and able to connect. What are you going to do here? Damn. I, I mean, what could you do there? I feel like the option there was just to parry. Get a parry, good parry in and maybe look for an option out. But you, at that point, you were on a ledge. It seems like it was just checkmate at that point. Ooh, good. Okay, now. This little man. As we all know, Wario is glowing right now. No, not like that. Use it, use it, use it! Never mind. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh.